and Google CEO Larry Page. Scientists are asking the question, where have all the bees gone? Bee populations are vanishing, but no one seems to have a clear sense of what's happening here in western Washington. It's all about to change, and you can help. King 5's Jim Foreman explains in a story that's new on the night side. There is a buzz in this University of Washington lab. Nestled among the high-tech wind tunnels, a colony of nature's low-tech pollen delivery system, the bumblebee. There are 13 types of bumblebees native to our area, and some of them, like their angrier cousins, the honeybee, are simply vanishing. Pollinators are declining um, pretty globally, but we don't know, we don't have this, the smaller picture context for our city. And that's about to change. UW researchers are recruiting pea patch members to become citizen scientists, and it's about a lot more than bees. Pollinators are responsible for about one out of every three bites of food that we eat, so they're really, really crucial. And that translates into some big agribusiness, about $225 billion a year from pollinated crops. So what's happening here at these small pea patches combined? could make a big dent in science. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but as soon as these guys are big, they're going to take up a lot of space. The experiment involves these cherry tomatoes. Volunteers will be given two plants, one covered to self-pollinate, the other pollinated by bumblebees. The idea is to count the bees and the tomatoes, comparing the two. It will all create a bee baseline, which could help shape the future of urban farming here in Seattle. At the UW, Jim Foreman, King 5 News. If you'd like to find out more about joining the project, we posted more information on our website, king5.com.